All right, I decided to make a video on how to install fog lights on a Scion IQ. This is a 2013. Um, I haven't seen any tutorials on anywhere on how to do it. Um, this is actually going to be three tutorials, and in the description I'll put uh, the times to skip to each one. First one is going to be fog lights. Second is going to be uh, floor lights, interior lights on the floor. Because I once dropped something down there at nighttime, I couldn't find it. And then also a rear um, light, so when you open the trunk, you can see what the hell you're doing. Okay, there's two screws right there and right there, and then. I guess there's two more right here and right there. I'm sorry, right, you're right above this one. And that should give you enough room to just pull back this uh, guard here. And there was also one more here on the wheel wheel. You just gotta pull out. It's uh, one of these. So it's just basically a quarter turn and then that plastic thing will pull straight out and then uh, this squeezes itself onto the bumper lip. So once you push that out you can grab the bottom here and just pull it straight back. Those two on top we didn't have to touch. Um, once you pull it back you can see the plug is right there for the fog light and then I don't know what all that brown shit is but um, it has those little clasps that hold on this thing and boom so you're gonna install the fog light here you're going to plug in that plug to the back of the fog light and your fog light kit should have came with a, a bezel that just snaps right on top into the existing uh, hold here. So I think that brown stuff that I was looking at this car may have, this is a pre-owned car I bought this used, looks like there's a big crack right here because a stupid girl used to own it drove like shit I'm sure so they probably repaired this bumper but not a big deal Whoever did it did a decent job and uh, looks like I'll be able to install them. Okay, once we popped off that cap, uh, we have to install the fog light from behind, which wasn't hard. Just kind of shove it up in there. And there's, uh, on the other side of this is where you put the screw to hold this thing in. And on this side, they just kind of slide into the two slots right here and right here. So you just slide it in and then put one bolt there. And then there's going to be this hole right here. When you put on the new bezel it comes with, there's going to be that screw that's where the screw's going to screw into to hold this thing on securely. Um, so it's just going to snap on and then one screw in the back. Okay, so snapped on. That little bolt that goes on this side behind is actually... Um, uh, you just got to stick your finger back there and kind of fish for the hole and blindly insert that screw and use a little stubby screwdriver such as that uh, to get in there and tighten it down and then once you do all that you screw the two bottom 10 mils to holding that mud flap or the fuck it is on as well as your little screw thing up here like that so that's all put together those two those are the only bolts you're actually taking out. Those are the ones over there. 
that I saw on the internet that told me to take those off. You don't need to do that. Uh, just jam it up in there and pull the flat back and you're good. Plug in the the uh, cable for the light bulb. Screw it on and then slap on the little bezel. And there's there's one side. Make sure you turn your wheel out so you can access all that. I shouldn't have to say that, but I know there's gonna be a couple dumbasses out there that forget to do that. And obviously, when you go on the other side, you gotta turn the wheel the other direction. So I'm not gonna record this side because it's the exact same thing. All right, so I got fog lights. This is just the outside installation. I'm still going to go over the uh, relay and the switch on the inside, uh, which brings me to another point. There's three kits available. I thought they were all the same, but they're actually three different kits. Uh, the first one is the one you want to buy. It's on eBay. It's about $58, and it comes with the correct relay and the correct switch that just plugs directly into your car. Um, I bought the... I think this is the $40 set, which came with this giant wire harness. It had its own relay and switch, which don't fit the car at all. So I ordered the correct relay. That'll be here tomorrow. Um, I can make the uh, aftermarket switch fit by rewiring it. There's only three wires in the uh, factory gray plug that's under the, you know, by your uh, power locks and USB bullshit. Three wires, I'm just gonna resolder the switch, make it a new harness, and then that should be fine. Uh, yeah, so, anyways, the second type of kit is the same as this one, except it has a different switch, which would have a green plug on it, which is very popular. I noticed those are everywhere. Those will work too if you want to rewire it, or you can just get the correct kit. Um, overall, I would say that the quality and uh, of these fitting into the car stock is um, they're okay um, for what it is. The bezels are a little tiny, wiggly. Yeah, well, maybe just a little wiggly. Uh, the plastic it's made of is pretty thin uh, but I guess you know if you don't smack into anything you'll be fine I don't know how they're gonna hold up in the UV rays I'd say they probably turn white within a year or two um, just keep that uh, armor all or whatever stuff you put on there um, there is a gap between the bezel and the light I'm not sure um, if it's if you put the factory ones on there if there's gonna be that gap or not, but there is a little gap and it's, it's hard to see from a ways back. But if uh, if you want to nitpick on things, this is not the kit for you. Other than that, um, everything's bolted on, pretty tight. Um, I guess if you want to save a few bucks in your electrically inclined for the rest of it get this kit uh, yeah get some glum I am literally not dirty from doing this part of the job so next we'll go inside the car pull down the uh, kick panel and see if we can find the relay housing for it all right we're gonna take apart uh, this kick panel uh, to get to the relay, there's a 10 mil uh, right there above the throttle. There's also one behind that this kick panel, which means you got to take apart that sill. It just pulls up, and this just pulls off. So let me take off all this shit off real quick. Okay, that was actually pretty easy. I just pull it off with my fingers. Move this out of the way. The kick panel just pulled straight back. 
So I got the two 10 mils and this thing just popped down. Um, the hood pop is just going to slide out. And you got your TPS bullshit over here, which is just a little clip will also pop out. And your OBD2, which is also just pop out. All right, so I did take off my airbag, but I guess you don't have to. Um, if you want to, there's a bolt. One, two, and there's one down there in the corner, and the thing just lifts off and hangs. But the relay, to get that relay in is kind of a bitch. Anyways, uh, it's right above the brake pedal. Uh, brake pedal's here. An indicator would be that blue spring. And directly above it, I don't even fucking see it, but there's a little gray plug up there. And the relay goes on top of that gray plug. Um, I guess you could pop the gray plug off and bring it down so it's more easier, but I couldn't manage to do it. I just fucking stuck my hand up there and stuck the relay in and it seemed to fit, so... Oh, shit. Anyway, it's, uh... The blue thing is the relay I just stuck in there, but you can see the gray plug. And... Well, anyway, it's... You can't miss it. It's right above the brake. Look for the blue spring. So, that's the only thing we're doing over here for the fog light relay. And now we're going to put all this crap back together. Okay, that went back together surprisingly easy. Uh, and just kind of snapped back together. Anyway, um, we're going to go to this side of the car. This is where the switch is going to go next to the underneath the door lock button. Um, so I'm just going to pop off this little center console, the top of the center console. It just pops off, there's absolutely no screws. And then you can get to, there's a little gray plug stuck in there. I've already taken it apart. I looked at the pin out to make sure I hook up the switch it came with. The switch is not designed for this car, but I pinned it out and should be exactly the same as uh, the factory one. So let me take this shit apart. And I don't know if you can see it, but... Yeah, it's in there. That's the Finch product. There you go. So that's kind of what it looks like. Um, I'm gonna do a... show you what the pinout was on that plug, because I could not find it anywhere. So... At least uh, it'll be on the internet now once I post the video. Thanks for watching. Okay, so the gray plug that plugs into the fog light switch is here. The pin one, the first pin, is going to the relay that we installed under the dash. Pin 2 is your switch, that's your your headlight switch. Pin 3 is not used. Um, I use my voltmeter, it seems to be a ground. Um, it's a ground when the light's on off, ignition on off. And that's the ground I used, so they're both grounds. So that would be the pin out. I don't, I don't remember the colors of the wires, but if you're looking at the pin pointing straight up with the plug on top, these are the holes that would usually plug into the switch. But I bought the wrong switch because I'm a dumbass. And then this would be the harness that goes into the car. And this will be taped up with white tape amongst the other three plugs for your power door locks, traction control, and your USB 
thing. All these are taped together, but this one is folded back. So you gotta chop off this electrical tape and uh, do what you need to do.